So this is the associate degree or higher diploma information session for DSC students. So first we're gonna talk about what an associate degree or a higher diploma is. Uh, and we'll go over what the difference between the two are. And then we'll talk about the tertiary institutions that offer associate degree and higher diploma. Then we'll talk about the possible future prospects and pathways with associate degree or higher diploma. And then we'll have a Q&A session. So what is an associate degree or a higher diploma? Associate degree or a higher diploma, take a look here. A higher diploma enables students to acquire appropriate attitude, knowledge, and skills to support their initial employment at the paraprofessional level. So higher diploma is more focused on things like practical skills or uh, the workforce. At least 60% of curriculum consists of specialized contents. For example, learning related to concentrations, disciplines, and professions, vocational skills, etc. On the other hand, associate's degree programs, they equip students with a broad knowledge base and a solid foundation of generic skills, as well as the specialist knowledge and skills required for further study in a chosen discipline. So for example, I took a English associate's degree program, or a, sorry, an English associate's degree uh, course. And then I articulated into university. Okay, sorry, just letting people in. All right, and at least 60% of the curriculum consists of generic contents. So it's not as specialized as a higher diploma. And it's more focused on academic, the academic field. Now, here are, here's a list of tertiary institutions that offer associate degree and higher diploma. The first three are the typical places that students will go to for associate degree or higher diploma. Uh, but there's other options. It's not just limited to these three. So I'll just quickly go through all of these. I won't read it all out. You will all receive the PowerPoint presentation anyway at the end of everything. So don't worry if there's something that you missed. So one of, the, uh, one of the places or institutions that you can get an associate's degree or a higher diploma is the UOW College of Hong Kong. And previously it was known as the Community College of Hong Kong. And here are the application procedures for July 22nd to 27th. So if you do it online, how it works is there is an online application here. Uh, do we have the link that we can send to the chat. I think you can access it as well if you open the presentation in your own uh, site or like in your own computer for the core team. If you can help us send it to the chat. So it's possible for online enrollment. What you have to do is fill in your particulars and your program choice and then upload your DSC results and your supporting documents. So make sure that you have everything scanned make sure you have soft, soft copies of everything. And there may be an online interview, so get ready for that. Make sure you're well-dressed. If it's formal or smart casual, make sure you know what the requirements are. And then you should receive an offer letter by email. If you choose to do walk-in for UOW College of Hong Kong, what you have to do is go to Telford Plaza. Here's the address for you guys. And make, uh, make sure that you get there in the time specified. If you're there too early or too late, then you kind of wasted your time traveling there. So what you have to do is fill in the application form, input the data to the system, verify your DSC results, and have your supporting documents. So for example, a copy of your HK ID, copy of your report cards from form four to form six. And you might have to do an interview on the spot. And you may be issued, issued, issued an offer letter on the spot. Here are some programs that you can take from uh, this college, University uh, Arts and Humanities, Business, Science and Technology, and Social Sciences. Here's the website, so it's super easy to get the information if you go online. We're just helping you to know what your choices are, know what the options are. 
and here's the information if you have any inquiries you want to call them or uh, you're looking for more information. Okay. Now, HKU Space Community College. There is an online registration mode. What you can do is fill in the application form, upload the documents via WhatsApp for verification, pay 150 application fee online, either by a credit card or online PPS. And there may be an online interview for this, so also be prepared and you should receive your application result via email or SMS. Alternatively, if you don't want to do it online and you would prefer to do it uh, in person, what you can do is walk in from 9.30 to 5.30 p.m. on these, these dates. Phase one is July 22nd to 24th, and phase two is August 13th to 14th. So what you have to do is fill in the e-application form verify the documents, pay $150 application fee, maybe have an interview at the venue, and you will receive an application result via email or SMS. So here are some other important dates for HKU Space Community College. The deadline for paying the registration fee, deadline for paying the first installment of tuition fee, online student registration and orientation days, and the commencement of study. So if you're looking to get into Hong Kong U space, then this information is important for you. Yeah. Uh, here's the application fee for local applicants, which should be all of you who are here. It's 150 non-local applicants is more expensive. If you wanna check your application status, there is a link here. Again, we will be sending you all of these uh, PowerPoint presentations so you can check out the links yourself as well. For non-current HKDSC, okay, this is not, this shouldn't be relevant to you guys. And the list of programs available for application for HKU space, arts and humanities, English, economics and business, mathematics and science, engineering and technology, and social sciences. So it seems it's a bit more, or a bit more diverse compared to UOW College. And these are the general entrance requirements, level two or above and five subjects, including English language and Chinese language and other qualifications. If you would take a foundation diploma or a diploma in foundation studies or equivalent like Yi Jin, then you can get into a Hong Kong space. Or if you have another qualification, for example, GCE for your Chinese grade, then you can also use this to get into HK, uh, HKU space. So when you're applying for this in institution, there might be specific entrance requirements for individual programs. So for example, Associate of, Art, Associate of Arts in English Language and Literature, you need level three or above in DSC, English Language or Equivalent. So make sure you know if there are any specific entrance requirements for programs that you wanna take. Okay. Yeah, so make sure, just make sure that you know what the entrance requirements are for different programs because they may vary. Okay. If you have any inquiries for this college, here is a telephone number as well as their email. So you can contact them and ask them personally if you have any further questions for them. Now, HKU Space, Poland Cook, Stanley Ho Community College. They have uh, accounting, business management, food and nutrition, health and healthcare, hotel, tourism and hospitality, legal studies, real estate, sport and recreation. So as you can see, this, uh, the programs that they have are more tailored to like vocational training or vocational studies, though it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be confused with VTC. And the arrangement for admission days or how you can apply, you can either do it online by submitting an e-application form, uploading your HKID card and academic qualifications for verification, paying 150 application fee online via credit card or online PPS, having an online interview via Zoom if necessary, 
and then you will receive an application result via email or SMS. If you choose to go there in person, you still have to submit an e-application form, and then you'll have to submit your documents at the first floor enrollment center for verification. Afterwards, you pay the application fee, have an interview if required, and then you will receive your application result via email or SMS. So similarly to all the other uh, associate degree or higher diploma, there is a application fee of 150. And you can always check to see like the definition, but if I'm not mistaken, everyone here should be considered local applicants. So you should prepare 150 or maybe 200 just to be safe. So School of Continuing Education, HKBU, here are the programs that they provide. Division of Applied Science, Division of Arts and Languages, Division of Business, Division of Communication, and Division of Social Science. And for a higher diploma, they have Commercial Design, Early Childhood Education, and Management. So for DSC applicants, you can do an online application. And there will be no on-site application. That means there's no face-to-face -face application. You cannot go to the university and apply for it. So everything has to be done online for the school. Uh, let me go back. Everything has to be done online for HKBU. So here's the online application procedure. Similar to all the other application procedures that we have done, you can consult their lectures online if needed, and then you have to fill in an online application form and maybe attend an online interview. Then you'll get your results notification within two hours. So either an uh, email notification, oh, sorry, it will be an uh, email notification, and you can download your admissions offer from my, my AD application. And then you'll have to pay your tuition fee, tuition fee deposit at once or by noon of 27th of July. And then you can refer to the payment instructions for payment methods that should be given to you when you receive uh, the offer. And one of the honorable mentions for, uh, for a higher diploma is a higher diploma in nursing. You can check out this link later. Okay, so what are the fo uh, possible future prospects of an associate's degree? So let's say you've completed your associate's degree. In the future, you can either take a gap year or you can start working part-time or full-time and then go to university. If you, have, if you um, like me, took an associate degree and you want to continue your studies, usually what you can do is apply to an institution which is similar to your associate degree institution. So for example, I had to take an associate degree in Community College of City University. Now it's called UOW. And what happened was I applied there, I got an associate's degree there, and I managed to articulate into City University of Hong Kong. So if you are, if you apply for an associate degree program at like a, a sister school of an institution, so University of Wollongong College, Community College, and then go into City U, you have a higher chance of getting in. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you can ask me at the Q&A session. And here, here is the typical uh, articulation process. Okay, so Q&A session. If I've spoken too fast or if there's anything that you guys don't understand, you can ask me questions now. If you're shy, you can send me something in the chat. No? Okay, uh, then if nothing, then that's the end of this uh, meeting. I hope that was informative and I hope you guys got the information that you needed. And if you need any more clarification or if you think of something after this Zoom meeting has ended, please feel free to message us in the groups or to message your mentors individually to ask them for some advice. Okay. If that's cool with everyone, then you are free to leave the meeting. You don't have to stay.
Oh, what's the difference between HKU space and HKU space PLK? So other than the venue, they provide different programs. Okay, let me share screen and then show it again. Okay, so let's go to HKU Space Community College. Wait, let me double check that that was a question. Yeah, HKU Space Community College and HKU Space PLK. Okay, so HKU Space Community College, what they offer is more, just, uh, just from looking at this, what they offer is more academic in nature. And then if you look at the programs offered by Poland Kopp, if I can find it. Yeah. And then for the programs offered by Poland Kopp Stanley Hill Community College, it's more based on like a career, career pathway, like uh, working, accounting, business management, but especially hotel and tourism, hotel, tourism, and hospitality, legal studies, real estate, sports and recreation. These, uh, these programs are not offered in Hong Kong East Space. Sorry, let me find it again. Yeah, they're not really offered here in Hong Kong East Space. So if you're looking to get something that's more vocational in nature, something that's more career oriented, job oriented, then you might want to look at the programs provided in Poland called Stanley Ho Community College. Is that okay? I hope I answered your question. All right, cool. So if no one else has any questions, then really that is the, that is the end of this presentation. Difference between associate degree and higher diploma. Okay, so I mentioned it earlier. Maybe you came in a bit late, so but it's no problem. So, associate degree is more focused on the academic aspect of things. So, if you want to go into further education, it's better to get an associate degree. If you want to maybe work in the future, if you're more career oriented, you want to get a job then a higher diploma would be a better choice for you. Because like, uh, like I said, the possible future pathways, yeah, here. The possible future pathways of associate degree or higher diploma, one is you can start working immediately and you can get a full-time job, but typically you'll need a bit more experience and people who have a bachelor degree may have a better chance of getting into full-time positions. So to sum it up, like associate degree is more academic. So if you want to go into university, you want to do further studies, you should probably get associate degree. And for higher diploma, uh, it's more about practical knowledge. Does that help? I hope it helps. If any, okay, cool. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask now. And if not, <laughs> you're welcome. And if not, then we can end the meeting. If no more questions, I will end the meeting in three, two, one.